Hey everyone, my name is Miss Miller and my favorite sport is basketball. So as I was at home looking at my basketball, dribbling, I was thinking, I could find the volume of my basketball. Does anyone remember the formula for the volume of a sphere? It is actually volume V equals four thirds pi r cubed, cubed to the third power. So I was looking at my basketball and I said, I really need to figure out what the missing variable is to figure out the volume of my sphere. The only missing variable I have is r, and r represents the radius. So here I have a circle. The radius is the part that extends from the center of the circle to the very edge. The diameter is the line that touches one edge of the circle, touches the center, and then another edge. The diameter is double the radius. The circumference is the distance around the circle. So if I need to know what r is in the volume of a sphere, I can't figure out what r is just by looking at my basketball because the radius of a circle would have to go straight through my basketball and touch the center. So I was thinking, what is the only part I could calculate if I had this basketball? And I came up with the idea that I could use the circumference of my basketball. If I could measure the distance of this seam right here, and in basketballs, there's also another seam that travels all the way straight around the basketball. If I can measure that, I will know the circumference, and then I can plug it into my formula for the circumference of a circle. So here, I have a nifty little measuring tape. So I'm gonna start on one of these perfect seams on my basketball, and I'm gonna measure straight around. checking it, and you can see that it says exactly 30. I'm going to check the other seam that is the circumference of this sphere and make sure that it's the same, because if the sphere is perfectly the same all around, the circumference should be 30 as well. There it is, 30 again. So now that I know this information, I can go ahead and plug it into the formula for the circumference of a circle. If C equals 30, I have 30 equals 2 pi r. There's my 2, and pi is equivalent to the approximation 3.14, so I have times 3.14 times r. The only thing I actually need to solve for now is the missing variable r, which represents the radius. So 2 times 3.14 gives me 6.28 times r. Inverse operation says to divide on both sides, so I'm going to divide by 6.28. Divide the other side by 6.28. This cancels out, and I have r equals 4.78. That's an approximation, but I'm going to keep two decimal places just so that my final answer for the volume of my basketball is fairly accurate. Now that I know what R is, I can substitute it into my formula. I always remember that the formula for a sphere is R to the third power, or R cubed, because we always measure volume in cubic units. So here we go. V equals 4 thirds times pi, which is the equivalent of 3.14, times my r value, which I now know is 4.78, raised to the third power. Order of operation says that I need to multiply 4.78 to the third power before I do any other operations. So that means 4.78 times 4.78 times 4.78. So now I have V equals 4 thirds times 3.14. And when I simplify this exponent, I get the approximation of 109.22. Now this is when I have a little trick for you. This fraction always used to throw me off, but I remembered that any other whole numbers are also fractions. They just have an invisible one 
in the denominator. So if I rewrite my equation with a fraction bar, I'm going to put all the numbers in the numerator multiplied together and all the numbers in the denominator multiplied together. So in the numerator, I have 4 times 3.14 times 109.22. In the denominator, I have 3 times 1 times 1 again. And anything times 1 is itself, so the only thing in my denominator is 3. Now I can simplify my numerator. Volume equals, when I multiply all three of these numbers together, I get 1,000. 371.8. My denominator stays the same. And I know that a fraction bar always tells me to divide. So if I always remember this little division sign right here, this number divided by 3 gives me my final volume, which is 457 inches cubed. And I know it's cubed because I just calculated the volume of my basketball. My challenge for you now is to find a ball at home and see if you can use the circumference to then calculate the volume of that sphere.